This is Cover Crop Guy. It's September 22nd, and we're looking at a field of radish, oats, and cereal rye that was seeded August 21st after seed corn. Seed corn field actually was condemned because of all the rain we had, so the grower um, had an opportunity to uh, invest in his soil bank. So the goal here really of this particular mix and and with this field, we're up on black sand, so they blow really easy, of course, is protecting the bare soil. Um, and then these radishes, which, you know, this grower's looking at compaction, fighting compaction. And here we have this nitrogen scavenging, calcium sulfur scavenging, um, and also providing food for biology. Then we have oats here, which is a broad leaf. And then we have the cereal rye. Uh, which is kind of a lower growing, thinner leaf. And of course the oats and radish are winter killed. That's exactly what we want. Um, and then the cereal rye will carry over any scavenging that the oats and radish have done for us. Um, and then that cereal rye will be alive next spring. And this grower's concern really was, well Dan, maybe I should burn this down now so I don't have that heavy mat to deal with uh, in the spring. Which is a valid concern when you're trying to plant you know, your cash crop into this. But it's also a old way of thinking that we need a nice, clean, easy bed. The reality is that with our planters and technology nowadays, we could plant literally into pavement, into gravel, and, and get some successful planting. Now, there's still a men so it's a mental barrier, really, is what it is. And so when we look at this, we say this looks beautiful, we love this green, but in the spring when it comes planting time, that's a little scary, and that is completely understandable. Um, but I, what's nice about this mix is that this radish and oats are going to be high in nitrogen, so their seed carbon to nitrogen ratio is low. So they're going to melt like butter. If you've ever done oats and radish, you know, by planting time next spring, it looks less than soybean residue. And then the cereal rye, we're going to burn it down when it's 12 inches tall about. Um, is going to also be equally vegetative, equally low in carbon and nitrogen, and we're going to have a really nice, friendly planting environment with lots of nutrients readily bioavailable to that corn early on and then slowly released through the cereal rye uh, the, the rest of the season. So I, this farmer's optimizing his, his soil so that his crop is optimized, and, and that's really what we're going for here. So Dan Perkins, cover crops, don't burn them down in the fall. I say you lose half your benefit. You lose half your investment. Um, why, would you, why would you sell your stocks when the price is low? It just doesn't make sense. Dan Perkins, Cover Crop Guy.